Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'm going to show you many of the improvements we've made to the key editor in Dorico 4.1. We debuted our brand new key editor in Dorico 4 at the start of the year, knowing full well that we wanted to quickly expand its functionality. Today, I'll be telling you about all of the main changes to the key editor we have implemented since Dorico 4 was released. That means, as with my general 4.1 update video, which you won't want to miss, I am including improvements that have already been made available recently through a couple of maintenance updates. Firstly, the general behavior of all the editors has been greatly improved. The resolution of the MIDI CC editor has been vastly increased, meaning freehand points can be positioned closer together and therefore finer detail can be achieved. You'll notice the editing of control points feels much more reliable and natural, both for individual points and for multiple selections. There's an improved management of envelopes, meaning control points flow together far more elegantly and you don't end up with gaps or jarring transitions. Holding down Control, and that's Command on Mac, while scrolling will zoom in and out of the editors. When editing points, you can constrain the drag direction by holding down Shift. The edit will be applied in the direction that you move the furthest, meaning you can reliably increase or decrease the values of a selection without changing their rhythmic position, or move them to a new location without changing their values. Holding down Alt or Option while dragging control points will copy them to another rhythmic position. The MIDI pitch bend editor has been reintroduced and points will snap to the central line to ensure a return to zero. Hold down Control or Command to prevent snapping. Users of Cubase will recognize and rejoice at the quick tool selector. Hold down a right click on an editor. You can use control click on Mac to show the quick tool selector. Move your mouse pointer over the tool you wish to enable and release selecting that tool. It's a quick and easy way to switch tools without having to continually move to the toolbar. Because the tool that is under your mouse pointer when you release is the one that becomes enabled, a quick right click will choose the select tool, a really handy way of getting back to that safe state. If this isn't a tool you have had experience of in the past, honestly, I think you're gonna love it. The Tempo Editor is now available in the lower zone key editor tab. In play mode, choose the Tempo track at the top of the track view. In write mode, with the track link enabled, simply select a tempo in the notation. The Tempo track displays the tempo profile of the flow with individual data points showing immediate changes in tempo and lines showing gradual tempo changes. Editing these in the tempo track will update the notation and vice versa. Drawing directly into the tempo editor will create hidden tempo items in the notation. If needed, you can make these tempo items visible in the score by selecting their signposts and using the properties panel to display them as you like. You can set the range that the tempo editor covers in order to better fit the values you are working with. So that's the tempo editor. And the dynamics editor shows the dynamics profile for each instrument, again, showing a graphical representation of the dynamics in the notation. Immediate dynamics are shown as a data point with the dynamic intensity indicated at the bottom of the graph. You can tweak these values to increase or decrease the dynamic intensity without changing the marking in the score. Dynamics that take place over time, such as hairpins and sforzandos, will display as green colored regions. Drag the first larger handle to edit the intensity of the entire dynamic or to reposition in the score. The profile of dynamics that take place over time can be shortened or lengthened and any points within the dynamic can be repositioned, for example, to define the contour of a sforzando. Grouped dynamics are indicated by a blue line across the top of the region. You can draw your own values into the dynamic profile in order to add nuance to the playback performance. This can be very useful when working with certain VST sound libraries 
in order to access the appropriate sample layers without littering the notation with surplus markings. Data regions you draw yourself will be colored blue to distinguish them from the dynamic items in the notation. Values you've drawn yourself will take precedence over the automatic green regions. Finally, we've made some sizable improvements to the usability of the Velocity Editor, including the performance of the pencil and line tools, making them much more responsive. It's now possible to edit the velocities of individual notes in chords. Velocity bars are stacked in order of their velocity, with the lowest at the front. Selecting an individual velocity allows you to drag up and down anywhere on the bar to edit its value. To edit the velocity of another note in the chord, first deselect the first note by clicking away from it. Control or Command click other notes in a chord to add them to a selection. Drag a marquee around multiple notes to work just with those. The pencil and line tools work on all notes unless there is an active selection. When one or more notes at the same rhythmic position are selected, only those notes at that position will be affected by the pencil and line tools. At positions where no notes are selected, all notes will be affected by the pencil and line tools. It's a subtle distinction, but one that can be very powerful when, say, editing a specific line of music. We have even more features and improvements to the key editor that we're already working hard on bringing to you, so look out for them soon. And remember, I've made another video all about the other improvements we have included in Dorico 4.1, so please do check that out. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click on the thumbs up button below, subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel, and click the bell to be notified when we add more videos. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.